but it's on its count again. Now, the National Correspondents' Dinner will be coming up in a few weeks. I'm not sure the exact date. And the reason for that is because I won't be watching it. And the reason for that is because it will not be worth watching. This year, instead of being hosted by a comedian, it will be hosted by a fellow by the name of Ron Chernow, who was a presidential biographer. Michelle Wolf, who hosted the last dinner, received a lot of criticism because she pointed out what a liar Sarah Huckabee Sanders is. So the people in charge of the dinner caved into pressure and decided not to invite a comedian to host the dinner this year. Now, the purpose of the dinner is officially to celebrate the First Amendment. And the people who most exemplify what the First Amendment is all about, aside from journalists, are comedians. It was a comedian, Lenny Bruce, who dealt with years of harassment and multiple arrests in order to give comedians the freedom to talk about whatever they wanted to, no matter how controversial it is. I'm not denying that reporters and journalists are very important defenders of the First Amendment. But when they cave to pressure, the First Amendment trembles. So even though Ron Chernow will probably give a nice speech, this year's dinner will be tame and lame. I'm sure there will be no controversy at all, which is why it will not be worth watching. It's as, it's as if they decided to cut off their own balls. But here is what's most ironic about this year's dinner. After all the criticism that they and Michelle Wolf received, it turns out that Sarah Huckabee Sanders has admitted under oath that she is indeed a liar. While she was being questioned by Robert Mueller's lawyers, Sanders admitted that she has indeed made false statements on behalf of the president. And it's not just her. There's a whole lot of other people in the administration that have told multiple lies for the president. Starting with Sean Spicer, who used to be the uh, president's press secretary before Sanders got the job. Rance Priebus, Don McGahn, John Kelly, Hope Hicks, all of them told lies for the president. And when they went in to see the special prosecutor, they admitted it. Sometimes they made the false statements at the president's direction. Trump would ask them to say something that was untrue, and they would do it. And then others did it just because they knew that was what was expected of them. There have been a few people in the Trump administration who refused to lie for Trump. Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats refused to lie when Trump asked him to declare publicly that he had no Russian connections. Trump asked Rod Rosenstein to hold a press conference about the firing of James Comey, but he told Trump that he would answer reporters' questions truthfully, so they decided not to do that. But there's been a lot of turnover in this administration, and there are very few people left who won't lie for Trump. So the lies continue, and this year, there won't be a comedian at the National Correspondents' Dinner to point that out. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, 
they they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.